Well, you know the cast is going to kill me. I was supposed to drive you home hours ago. Oh, come on. You wanted to know what was going on as much as I did. Oh, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Here he comes. It's okay. What are you doing here? We wanted to know what's going on. Cass, Brian's almost through in there. Are you going to be uh, representing Paulina and Ian? Or Just Paulina. Paulina. But I'll see what I can do about obtaining counsel for Ian first thing in the morning. Well, whatever you do, find something good. It's, he's going to need it, obviously. Are you charging Paulina? No, not tonight. As a matter of fact, I already told Ryan to let her go. So, uh, how you doing, Felicia? Good. Frankie, you're up a little late for a working woman, aren't you? Oh, I've got it covered, Captain. Well, I'll see you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, sure thing. What was that all about? Didn't I happen to mention that I'm going to be doing some work for the police department? Why, no, no sweetheart. No? Not to my oh, recollection. Slip my mind. Well, I think that's my cue that uh, I should go home and go to bed. I would suggest to both of you do the same. Night. Check in. <clears throat> I'll explain everything to you in the car when you're finished here, but, you know, to be on the safe side, I should drive, okay? I'm gonna load... Oh, I got a feeling I'm gonna load this. Brian, before you take Ian away, can I talk to him alone for I a minute? Please, no, I won't talk about the case, I promise. Please. We're at five minutes. No more. I'll be right outside. Come on. I'm so sorry. I, I never dreamed it would turn out this way. No, no. None of this is your fault. I made you come back here, Ian. I told you it was the right thing to do. Well, maybe it is. Well, how? I... With Jake and Spencer out there spreading lies, who's going to believe Blaine, us? Please. Please. Think about Jake. Just, just try and think about the good things. Try and think about... I mean, Rosa told you about your parents. Try and think about that. Hold on to that. But what if it's true, Ian? What if Mac did betray your father? No. I wish we'd never gone down there. I wish we'd left well enough alone. I found something much more important than my father's work in St. Christopher. I found you. Okay. Hope you catch a plane. Yeah, thanks. rolling around and rolling around. She's lucky she's not in the bathtub with hot boiling water, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a, a big old king-size bed we got here. Oh, God help me. Please. All right, fine, but stay in the middle, please, because I'm not responsible for what I might do to that girl. Understood? Okay, I love you. Thanks for being a support. Come up here with us. What? You can sleep up here on one side of the bed, okay? Oh, Dean. I get it. Don't be an idiot. You're going to be more comfortable. Oh, come on. Come on. Tell me you used your boardroom status to get the guard to let you in, right? I've got as much right to be here as you do. What were you planning on doing in the middle of the night, Jake? Just uh, sneaking through some locked up files, dig up some more dirt on my dad? Well, Rachel and Iris know how to use a paper shredder, Amanda. What do you say? That my sister and my mother are 
Involved in some kind of cover-up or something? Is that it? Well, they may have known about Mac, and, and they might not. The point is that they've always treated me like a dog since day one. So now it's payback time, right? It's wonderful, Jake. It's really, really wonderful. And now you can get revenge on me and my daughter, my sisters, my brothers. And we got to watch our father get defiled in every paper in the country. I, I know what it's like to find out that someone is not who you thought they were. I mean, I, I know how... Don't you pity me. Don't you dare pity me. Mac is the one to blame here, all right? Don't kill the messenger, Amanda. Oh, I would love to resurrect that concept, believe me. Because if anyone deserves that kind of treatment, it is you. Try and get some sleep. Yeah, right. Listen, I told you the truth before, Detective. Paulina Corey had nothing to do with this. Oh, well, I think you should think less about Paulina and more about the mess that you're in. Good night. You get to get some sleep. Oh, I can't sleep when I'm missing you. Mm. Yeah. It's the worst part for me, too. Missing you. Mm. So I understand you brought in your guy. Yeah. Me and Rain, thanks to Jake's tip, is finally behind bars. So Jake must be happy. Uh, yeah, along with about oh, two dozen other guys in the department. Mm. What about you? You kind of like Ian, don't you? What? Well, well, look, he never meant to hurt me. He didn't. And you know what else? I think he understood about, you know, you and me. Yeah, well, it's too bad that he didn't understand the law, I'm Vicky. Just saying, he... would you try to keep an open mind? Vicky, he... Please! Are you trying to get me in trouble, Les? I believe you want to question me about one Ian Rain. I knew there was a connection between Ian and Paulina. Oh, yes, but to be with him when he was arrested, I mean, what was she thinking? Well, not about the family, that's for sure. It's too bad we weren't able to get in touch with Mom. Oh, talking of Mom, you know she's going to have a fit when she finds out about this. Have you had any contact with her, Amanda? No, she wasn't at the number she gave us last night. And what about Maggie? She's still in New York? Yes. This is all the family I could get together, Iris, okay? Oh, right. Well, at least Ian Rain's where he belongs. Perhaps the crisis is almost over. I don't know about that. I think we're heading into some rough seas. Why, what are you talking about? The rumors about her father? Rumors about what? Hey, what rumors? Well, the news media hasn't gotten a hold of... Amanda, what are you yet. talking I'm about? I'm talking about his reputation, Iris. I'm talking about our whole I've family been getting... for you guys. Oh, Paulina. I'm surprised you decided to show up. Well, last night was pretty rough. Why? I mean, why exactly? Yes, Paulina. And could you be specific on why you're at it? Why don't you explain to everyone why you brought this disaster down on us all? Like what they gave you, huh? How about chowing down on some crow and then, uh, possibly some humble pie? 